What is up, my amazing cultists? Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Let's dive right back into this madness and continue our exploration. So how is everybody doing today? I hope you are all very, very well in this crazy world we live in. Someone is using the fireplace. I suppose that this is where old Winchester lives. Ah. Yes, this is a crazy world indeed. All sorts of very interesting things going on in the world right now that could have a permanent effect on everything. It's crazy, crazy, but we're here for Cthulhu. Where is Cthulhu? Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Perhaps we can become one with the cult and merge with Cthulhu and get our very own Davy Jones squid arm. Hello? Nope. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Little squiggly there. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Um... Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Very dialogue-driven game. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? steal a burnt painting. Right? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Nah, not Silas. Alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Yes, Lord, have pity. Have pity. Alright, let's... Poor kid. Huh, okay. Poor kid. Alright, buddy, you do your thing. I am gonna wander this way. Up the Z path. Hmm. That looks like a dead end. Let's go look up here real quick. Nothing. Oh. I'll have to find another entrance. <laughs> That's familiar from the old game. It's locked. It's locked. Remember, there was a lot of locked doors. Good old classic horror this games. This entrance is still in use. Oh. I guess we're going in. Whoa! Whoa! Oof! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, alright? Good load. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! <laughs> Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, Easy. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. So hostile. Grab his axe now. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. Hm. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. 
No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. Hmm... No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <sighs> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Yep. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Very persuasive. Alright, so this is the other side that it would not let me explore for that little cutscene. Let's go ahead and have a little look-see here before we go in. This gate is locked. Keen observation. I am a scholar. We can go all the way down to that house, too, it looks like. Anything back here? No. Okay. I mean, for a game that's seemingly all dialogue so far, it's not too bad. Another axe? How many axes does this guy have? Maybe I should ask him a qu ask him a question? I don't know. That didn't really work. I tried to be funny, but I failed. It's okay. Snoopy, Snoopy. Anything going on in here? What happened to my lamp? Where'd I get this stupid lighter? Thought I had a lamp in the, the gutsy land. It's locked. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we can just hobble down. All right. Anything hiding back here? No? Okay. Let us head back up. To the mansion. Very exciting stuff, huh? Oh, you're back. Beers. Shall we enter? Let's do it. Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. We already covered that. Oh, chapter three. Interesting. All right, plenty of time. You could have paused it. I cut a little bit of that, I think. And uh, let's just enter the madness. Follow me. I know the place. Well, that's no fun. this light on. Very. Everything with the narrow hall and doors just is PT. The last supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Oh, detective mode. Nice. Let's do this. I'm detecting. What the hell kind of meat is that? It's got eyeballs. Is this a squid? What kind of meat is this? Yeah. That's all you have to say about that. <laughs> this place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Seems upset about something. What happened here? The boy was probably here. Smashed oh. his plate on the floor. But why? He didn't want to eat the ugly squid creature? Oh my god, who would want to eat that? Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? 
Something happened at this table. An argument? Wow, that was some good deduction. Daydreaming again. Yep. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. It's very dark in here. Something spooky gonna happen. Oh wait, let's see. Do we have any... We do. We have four CP. Hell yeah. Look at that. We're gonna see everything now. Any more hidden spots? Can I detect them? This is where we came in, right? Yep, okay. He's blabbing on about Silas and something to do with the fire. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that guy. Is Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. There's lamps. Oh. We're detecting again. That's double detection. Damn, the game's picking up. Oh, what is this? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? It would appear so. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Right, right. This guy's really smart. Did it stop at the time of the fire? New clue memorized, so that's what... Like, 10 o'clock. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Hmm. They had a fight. Why? Oh, she's gonna bitch slap him. You gonna get it? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? There's a lot of investigating in here. Now what do I need to look for? I'm not seeing anything. Nothing there. We got that, we got that. Can't click on him. We need to go here. Oh. Did someone escape the fire? There we go. Got the good old check mark. We are done. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? Mm, it's quite simple, actually. I think that some of your colleagues should turn in their badges. This room is bursting with evidence that seriously contradicts the official inquiry. Well, of course, Mr. Holmes. Like what? <laughs> I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? All right, all right. I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal Andrews, Chief West. 
We never deal with cases like that, you know. So... Well... It would seem at least one person fled the crime scene. What you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. Dr. Fuller? A brilliant surgeon and a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. So excuse me if I value his opinion over yours. So be it. Let's move on. I suspect this lamp caused the fire. That's what the investigation suggested, too. But does your report mention the bloodstains? The lamp didn't fall, it was thrown at someone. For heaven's sakes, no. The report doesn't mention that. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Yes, the only way is to get through this door. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be... This door is locked. I, 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 no tampering with the evidence. There's the vermin, we gotta get it. Out of here, vermin. So he wasn't wrong, there is a vermin problem. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Well, he's going that way. I guess I'm not going that way. Can't get through here. Looks like we're all going this way. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Huh? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Okay. Interesting. What we got here? Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. No books. No books. No nothing. No oh, book. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. Seems they got here around the 14th century. Nice. Excuse me. You have nothing to say about it? Okay. Did I? Oh, that's how we came in. I'm gonna go look upstairs. Well, why do these lamps all have vapor? Is that just to be all creepy and ooh, and spooky like? See the light. Dark dull? water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. There's something disturbing about this painting. Is there? Oh, I guess. 20,000 leagues under the sea. 
Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Yes, the deep. Oh. A crowbar could prove useful. Why? Why does the screen lighting just keep dulling out like that? Let's go over this way. Yeah, that's where it was blocked. We can go around. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? And if you wanted to read that last little bit. What the heck was that? Hello there. Pretty sure it just flashied something at me. Locked. <laughs> Good thing we busted out the lighter, huh? Oh, here we go. This is the kids' room. The boys' room. Yeah. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. That threw me off because they split it like that. Wonderful. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Must have. Nice artwork. Perfectly normal. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. Yes, what was very wrong strong with this family. Now we look at the pictures? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? No, that's perfectly normal. Uh, that's Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. No, that's perfectly normal artwork. Little kids draw stuff like that all the time. Now this, this little scratches. Locked. That is sus. Wait, I seen ya. Got an office key. What will her room reveal about her? We're not investigating? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Barbiturates. We open this. No? Okay. Oh, we gotta pick the lock. This is normal. This is how you lock doors. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, that's perfectly normal. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Yeah, everything. This just looks like a normal family's house. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Damn, she's making some money. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. She made a lot of money. She didn't need to sell it. And a bus just staring at me. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Um, it looks like she wanted magic painting skills. God dang. Like, that's not normal, man. These... Like, who... This one, sure, it's just some old bearded guy. That's just some woman with that, like, sludge face. That That's a bit out there. Oh, it's a good thing we got that key. Bradley? Is that you? Huh? What? Oh, that was a locked door. We just did a loop. Guess I didn't need that key. Is anyone there? Hello?
Oh shit, let me get you. Stop. Where you at, sucker? Let me get him. Red, um Did you see which way he went? Seriously. Who? I didn't see anyone. What? I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. Oh. I don't need no this light. This door was... Oops. Closed earlier. Did I see something? I saw green. I think it's just that. Okay. You really gotta keep your eyes open. Whoa. That is, like, the worst thing. Where did he go? Well, let's see. This looks pretty suspicious, doesn't it? Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. Okay. What? This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. <laughs> Alright, um, there's gotta be... Oh, yeah, it moves. Doesn't work. Seems like this came from a log. Ah. What is this? 33 north, 53 west. 33 north, 53 west. If there's any it looks like info. an old seaway map. 33 north, 53 west. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Oh, oil refilled. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. What was it? 3343? There must be a link with the seaway map. 3353. Okay. Thirty three and fifty three. Yeah, looks like it worked. Brilliant. Why, thank you. I knew it was there. This is so obvious the way it sticks out like that. That's good game design, man. I hate it when it's like. They don't give you a hint or a visual cue of some sort. All right, well, it looks like that's the end of that chapter. And we're pretty much out of time, so let's just go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. That's awesome. Um, as always, everything is down below. You guys know what to do. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. I know no one else sees it, but I see it, so, you know. You can try to crush my little soul if you feel that my videos are not up to your standards. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed um, just a little hangout session, playing some video games, having fun with our cult discoveries. All right. Ending, ending. Words, words. Catch you in the next one. Peace.